What is up everybody, Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Upper Deck has did it again. They have released another product, and this time it is retro. We're talking 1989 retro. Many of us Marvel car collectors are fans of this period of time in comics, so this is a huge hit, I think, in terms of just the nostalgia aspect of it, because we're getting these retro images of our favorite characters, whether it be Spider-Man, Wolverine, Venom, Captain America, Iron Man, and our X-Men like Jubilee and others. It is a lot of fun because we're seeing new images that we haven't seen on trading cards, but we're also getting some of the classic images that we really know and love from 1989. So let me tell you a little bit about this set. It is an e-pack only release, meaning that you can only purchase this product online at upperdecksepack.com. And it doesn't mean that the cards are digital, although some are. But some are physical and you can get these cards mailed home. It's kind of a whole trading and collecting aspect of it where you can earn achievements like this all-star Spider-Man here once you collect certain sets of cards and redeem them if you're not familiar with Upper Deck. I'm not going to go into all that right now, but you will see at the end of this video, I'm going to open up some of the product for you so that you can experience what it's like and see the cards that are open and see which ones are digital and physical. But there's also going to be things like sketches that you can hit in the product and sketches are the e-pack achievements as well. Again, all images are from 1989 and are set on a design that is from baseball. So you have the Fleer 89 baseball cards, which I think feature, you know, prominent uh, baseball players like King Griffey Jr. And it includes the art from some of our favorite artists like Todd McFarlane being probably the biggest one that you see featured throughout the set for the Spider-Man fan like myself. So here is an example of me opening up a pack. Again, these packs are $5.99. Boxes are around $89. A case is around $1,100. I can't remember exactly the price, but the packs include three cards, two that are digital, one that is physical. You can always tell the physical card because you can actually see it's a truly scanned image of the card that you then own. And it's generally in a penny sleeve, sometimes in a top loader, depending on how big the hit is. If you get greater than a box hit, it will flash red, meaning that, you know, it's kind of like a gambling aspect. You know you hit a card that is, you know, odds were greater than the number of packs that you were opening. So the digital cards, again, you can collect 10 of those. And once you put those 10 together, you can redeem them for a physical card. All of these cards that are physical, you can keep on your ePack account and or you can mail them home. So. Oh, we got a Spidey hit here. I love this Todd McFarlane art here. And it's a, yeah, I'm very happy to get that one. Um, I've already been trading some of these cards. I've been trading uh, for the Spider-Man cards that are featured in this set because it's just classic. Look at this Psylocke here. I've never seen this Psylocke used on a trading card before. So it's very awesome, beautiful Mary Jane there from Todd McFarlane. Again, just gonna run through opening up packs here. I opened up. I did, I bought 15 individual packs just to possibly increase the odds of me getting more than what I was owed in a box. And then I bought 12 individual packs and then I bought seven individual packs and then I opened a box. Uh, and I would say that I hit just slightly better than what the box was gonna give in the individual packs, but you gotta get lucky, right? Now the odds will play out. The law of averages will play out in the end if the, you know, everything's set up correct. So here's, uh, for the record, a Namor here. Now these are one in 28 packs, so they're not numbered, but they're, uh, and the and short print probably isn't the right word, but it, you know, you gotta open up 28 packs. So greater than a box and a half average to get one of these cards and I hit the Namor. It looks like a good, good looking card. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit to get through the hits. We've got our digitals, we've got our physical. Archangel here. The red is your kind of your base physical card, right? Um, it's not the digital, which is the actual true base. Here we got an orange. Uh, the orange is out of 489. Again, 89 being the number that uh, of the year of the release, 1989. So you see 89 in the number of the parallels quite a bit. 489, I think 289 out of 89 uh, being where those show up. So we will end this video on the hits, not all of them, but a few of the favorite hits, including this for the record. Magneto, which has Spider-Man in it, which I thought was pretty cool here. Then we get to an actual Spidey hit, which again, Todd McFarlane art 
makes it pretty special. It's got the digital Cyclops and Todd McFarlane Captain America. That's out of 89. That was the best card that I've pulled so far. Um, my EPAC name is Spidey JEU09, Spidey G09. If you see anything here that you would like to trade, obviously I'm looking for Spider Man. Like this Todd McFarlane, that's a red. Happy to have that one as well because it's a Spidey hit. Beautiful Rogue. Like this Doctor Strange. I wanted to show you that art real quick because I thought it was a lot of fun. And if you're a Doctor Strange fan, another Spidey hit, another Todd McFarlane card here. Super cool. Exciting stars. Absolutely. 89 was a big year. That was the first year for the appearance of Venom. And that's when Todd took over the Spidey line. And look at this Moon Knight. That's fun art. Gotta like that one as well. I know my buddy Lewis must really like it. And here again, Iron Man, Archangel, and Wolverine. Thought that was a fun card to pull. What a great time for Marvel Comics. As it transitioned into the 90s, I believe the expectation is that in the future we will have like a sports you know, themed design for Marvel with a certain, you know, particular year. Same thing with basketball. I mean, that that stands to reason that we might actually get a Fleer Retro throwback set for 1996-97 basketball. First year of PMGs. I don't know. But it does sound like that upper deck, if this is a hit with the community, does well, but they'll do other throwback sets. Marvel trading cards with the sports-themed design to focusing in on a particular year. we got 1990 Jim Lee era in 91. That would be great. It's a lot that they can do with this kind of aspect of a design. As long as the price point stays low, it begins to be a fun, uh, you know, element for the community. We're not having to spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a box. Another one of my hits, I hit the yellow Magneto here. Traded it for an Iron Man to a friend who's collecting Magneto. Again, hit me up on EPAC if you have any cards that you want to trade or you see anything here that you like. But as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to wrap this one up. Have a marvelous day. Now for our giveaway. I've got some super exciting news for you. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. But to make this journey even more thrilling, I'm launching a fantastic giveaway. That's right. Once we reach that incredible milestone of 10,000 subscribers, one lucky winner will receive an amazing PlayStation 5. So how can you get in on this awesome opportunity? Well, it's easy. Just three simple steps. Number one, you gotta subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Number two, you have to Spidey hit, and I mean Spidey hit that like button. And number three, drop a comment down below. Maybe tell me about your favorite Marvel card or why you love collecting or even a question about this video. The winner will be picked randomly and announced right here on the channel as soon as we reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. So keep an eye out, it could be you. And remember, with every video from now until we hit our goal, we will have this giveaway reminder so you won't miss out on any updates. This is Justin, AKA Spidey, signing off. Stay tuned for more, and as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.